Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a two-motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas. And this is episode 50. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon Patrons team. Thank you very much guys for your help. If you would like to support this channel, there are the links down below. Last time I finished this amazing cutting tool and uh, the cut I made was actually uh, so precise it was uh, in one tenth of one millimeter. Amazing what you can do almost with no money. First thing today, we are going to check if this flange I cut yesterday on that cutting tool, if it fits properly between the differential and between the axle. And now I'm going to show you how the actuator for this lever for the locking mechanism of the differential works. I have it over here and kind of rigged it. And uh, we are going to connect it uh, to the compressor hose and you will see how it will look, how it will work. <clears throat> it's controlled by the air obviously and this is just for the indication that the electric wire over here for your light bulb on the dashboard. So I'm connecting that to the air and you can see this lever moving and disconnecting. So I will put the flange, the differential and this actuator together and we'll actually see if this will unlock and lock the axle uh, the way it should. First I need to get rid of the sharp edges on this flange. Check this out guys, I have it ready to, for the test. I have it in position, two millimeter gap over here by these wires, everything is hooked. It's in open position, so when that wheel is blocked, this one should, this one should spin. After I lock it with the air, those both wheels supposed to be locked, so we'll see. So it's open and let's lock it. You could, you could hear the click. It's locked, it works. I just don't know why this one it doesn't go all the way out, all the way in but maybe that lever doesn't have that much of trouble because when I have this out, this was all the way in. Check this lever. Day two. Hey guys, it's another day because I spent uh, many, many hours off camera by cutting and measuring this damn tube. I did this one cut on the camera and then I did two more cuts and I made one millimeter and uh, uh, half a millimeter cut over here on that machine, amazing. But uh, I shouldn't do that last one because I cut about half and one and a half millimeter more than I should. We are going to fix it. I'm going to make some custom shims and we'll put them between the flange and the uh, and the axle because Tatra doesn't make any of these. 
You will see when I put the air into the locker, the locker will have tendency to push this tube out of the axle. You can see that now. So now I will dismantle this and get it ready for the welding. Hallelujah! Okay guys, and now let's prepare the pieces of the tube for the welding. It will look like this. Uh, we'll put two millimeter gap over here, uh, about one millimeter edge on each side and maybe 80 degrees uh, of the slope of the weld. We'll go twice like this and then second line. So. Uh, that should be enough. And after that, we are going to put these things uh, into the threaded rods. We'll tie it up very precisely. Okay guys, the pieces are clean, unlike me. Look at that. And now we are going to take out all that mess from the place where the steering bearing, steering mechanism bearing is uh, located. And uh, let's do the edges for the welding. And there is also the outer ring for this bearing, which I will need a puller for. And now we need to line up all these four pieces the way they should be. These flanges must be exactly against each other because if not, the truck would be twisted. This must be horizontally on the top and these pieces must be vertically. These, these pieces, these holes must be vertically. Wish me luck.
This will be fun to line it up. <laughs> So guys, you can see that I have it uh, partially leveled over here. That means this one is also leveled. I don't know if you see the bubble here. And uh, this one must be completely horizontal and this one also vertical. This one was on the top originally, but we have the actuator over here very close to this mounting point. So that actuator over here, it would hit that spot. So that's why I put it on, uh, put it sideways and it's also better for the accessibility. So this one is good now. And now we are going to move the, this one. Hopefully this one will stay. How can I do it? Check this out guys, that's so perfectly lined up. Look at that, perfectly horizontal. Another side. Perfectly horizontal. This piece, perfectly horizontal. And last piece over here, perfectly vertical, wow. I am so excited. It's amazing. I wouldn't think I can line it up so, so precisely. Wow. And now I have the final line over here. And now let's grind down the edges for the welding. So one surface is done, five left.
day three. Hey guys, it's another day. I have few more surfaces to grind. I need to finish this one. I need to do this one and one more over here. And that will be it. These are already done. They look very, very nice. The mess is everywhere. Let's finish this dirty job. Check this out guys, look at that. All these four pieces are perfectly grinded and they are ready for uh, the welding. Wow! I met a guy, he is certified welder and he welds uh, for a living for the company that uh, do the armor for the military vehicles. And by the way, also for the vehicles that go to Ukraine. This guy will be here in a few days and he will weld this damn tube together. Awesome! So this is it for today guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you would like to support this channel, there are the links down below. Thanks for watching and see you on Tuesday.